Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another product review, this time from Flextail. Now I was sent this product from them directly, kind of put it in a package like this. Now this here is a mosquito repeller and flashlight all in one. So let's wait no further, let's open this up and uh, see what it comes with. Now these here are the mosquito repellent. You can buy these separately and they do last I believe they were saying 36 hours so that's quite a bit. And this here is the 165C that says tiny repel nice little hard case here it's not uh, plastic but uh, does have a little bit of give to it so it's nice got the molded I love color green it's my favorite color so all right well let's go ahead and get this open here Pretty excited to test out something different. Now the repel feature is simply a capsule that you open up and according to their website mosquitoes don't like it so they stay away. The higher you have it on your body including hanging it from your back of your hat on your head shoulder or waist you're going to have six feet above and out around your body of protection. So that's pretty impressive. Okay, it doesn't look like it comes with any repeller, so definitely something you're going to buy separately. Here's the tips card probably to get the best performance out of here this is a packaging insert to keep it from bouncing around too much here's the tiny repel user manual showing you how to put in the repeller capsules multi-language Pretty nice. You get one USB type C charging cable. Let me take this out of here. Nice molded areas here that will keep it safe and from rattling around and and keep the extra repellers in here along with the manual and cable. Nice little storage case. So here it is. Now, my understanding is that this is magnetic. So if you do have a tent or, you know, motorhome or whatever you're doing, you can actually protect the whole area inside with this as well. Yeah, magnet feels pretty good. Not too sure how strong it is to hold with this knife being kind of yeah, it'll hold its weight on the side, so it's pretty strong. Now it's on a flat area. Nice. Here are the inserts that you'll put in those. My understanding that this area heats up a little bit. Not a lot, but it does heat up a little bit to activate the repeller. There's the USB charging port there. Got a nice, easy, quick release clip there. And it could be plastic, I'm not really sure. 
feels like it's plastic. Now this here is the buttons that you'll use to turn on the unit. Looks nice. Feels rugged. It's got some weight in there because of the battery. Move some of this out, kind of messing with my camera a little bit. These areas here, so if you want to hang it on you, shoulder length they recommend on a backpack, and that will provide six feet all the way around to the sides of you and to the bottom. Probably do a little better if it's indoors because it's uh, more contained in there. You can see those little areas, they slide all the way out so you can push it and grab them out. Like the color green. There we go. Button's kind of small. So we've got perfect battery level here. Turn it on here. Hopefully we can... There we go. There's the light. Kind of has a nice soft glow. Yeah, does have some... It appears to be some PWM here on this camera inside my house. I'm going to go through the light levels here. Got to hit this button just right. We've got different light levels there. It's a lot of light actually. Have your little repeller on there. They're attracted to the lights. Definitely going to keep them away and then back down and off. Not too sure. Now there's the repeller. Now according to them this is supposed to help activate the repellent let you know that that's on I don't know if I want to keep that on with nothing in there should be fine but I'll turn on the light again here button's pretty stiff once you get it on and it's okay but to get it activated got to be right on top of it right at the right angle because it's curved battery level check get my finger right on it here there we go now this here has heated up I can feel the the head here is heated up pretty good Got some heat. Let me get my gun out and see how hot it is. Okay, let me see the battery level there. I just want to see how hot this thing is. You can see there, 100, 200 degrees. I was feeling this thing was getting pretty toasty here. <laughs> oh, like what's going on here? So that's heating up like it should. As you can see there, it's getting pretty toasty. Show you the temperature one more time. 218. Now if I can use the other. And now we'll test it one more time. About 230 degrees. So this is getting pretty warm there. But it's not hot to the touch really because the heat is inside behind on those little metal plates there and it looks like a heat sink there so these things are heated up now both sides are lit up now we're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can turn it off okay 
it's getting pretty warm there. That's a impressive little unit. And the hotter that gets, the better the repellent is uh, utilized. So the light here, the light output is is pretty good. Um, it's nothing um, super bright, but it's got a nice glow to it. I'm going to try to turn it on here. There we go. At this light output, about right there, that's probably about 100 lumens. And this is no longer on, so it's starting to cool off a little bit. There's quite a bit of light output, actually. Set that down. Probably, probably 4K, maybe 4,500. Nice, the LEDs are at this end here and kind of shine downward. Hope that you guys could pick that up. Now the lower light outputs, this does have some PWM. Looks like there is a little bit there, but I'm not seeing it. I'm only seeing it on the lower light outputs. Try to find the button again here. So it's a double click to get that to respond better. Might make sense. That way it doesn't accidentally come on. And double click to get through those light outputs. Nice. Feels rugged. It's definitely has an ABS plastic cover here over the heat sinks. You see down in there. Those get pretty warm. Let's see what the temperature is now. It's cooling off now, about 127. Oh, those things were getting about 230 degrees, probably get a little warmer than that, uh, really to get that protection and that repellent heated up. And it will have an odor to it. This is plastic as well. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, take this into my garage and uh, let's see how it does lighting it up in there. We are out here in the darkness of my garage. Perfect area to show floodlight beams. And they're real wide and dispersed, double click that turns it on battery level there you can see nice glow of everything here I'm slowly getting caught up on some stuff and projects in my music room so taking a little while longer than normal waiting for my equipment to come back and we're going to click it one more time. Let's go to the next level here. Nice even spacing on all this. Easily see all the way around. Nice warm light. If you hang it sideways, kind of pointing it. It's got a little bit better diffused beam. If you do, the bottom has that little dark spot because of the bottom. I'll show it sideways and we'll go up to the next level there we go really a nice even you don't need a lot of light when you're camping or at your table eating or just carrying this on the side of you but uh, especially if you got to walk to the uh, bathroom there this is a very nice light to have. There's the final light output. It's got a nice slow power up on that 
higher output and more than enough light. You can see I'm just kind of moving the light around. So plenty of light output for just about any application. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that demonstration on the light output, which is impressive. Now the beam kind of shoots outward like a triangle shape there. So very nice. The higher you have it up, the more light spread that you get. This was getting up to 230 degrees. So uh, still impressive. It wasn't burning my hand, but I could feel the heat coming. It's like uh, you feel something inside a container that's hot, but that's it. That's what this feels like. This also uh, has a 21700 cell in it. It's not replaceable. It is a 4800 milliamp, so that should provide good run times on the light. Using them in combination with both, probably cut down quite a bit on that. This here is a 10 pack. You can use two at a time or you can use one at a time if you want. Either way, this here is a very nice addition. You would definitely want to keep this for your camping adventure or if you're having it in your backyard you want to eat at a table. This is really nice. Set it there, put the little repellents in it and you're ready to go keeping those mosquitoes away. They do not like the smell of these. They have kind of a sweet smell according to the website but uh, the mosquitoes don't like it. So very nice little kit rechargeable USB and uh, I don't see any issues with this. The light output is a warm white which is not really my favorite but it looks good on here. It's more of a, a pure flood and uh, it does really well. Magnetic hands-free use it put it on your trailer or if you're outside hang it from your backpack not seeing any issues there these refills are available on their website they are to be purchased separately now I'm also been told that uh, they will be having these using my discount you'll be able to save on these as well so very nice I'm impressed with this flex tail USB type C charging is also a plus and uh, really kind of helps you maintain this the only issue that the buttons are kind of hard to get right on top of to double click to, you've really got to be able to be right on top of that button but it's not impossible once you find it then it's pretty easy to go through those light outputs again you just gotta be right on top of them in order to activate the light because you may be off to the side it won't it won't engage so not really a con too much but just to let you know those can be a little bit on the tricky side because they're so thin battery level indicator is also a plus and then you don't have to engage this you can always check your battery level just by clicking at one time but it doesn't stay on very long one click, double click turns on everything else. All right. Well, I want to thank Flextail for sending me this to review. Now, if this is something you're interested in getting, you go camping a lot or you want something for your backyard or anything you wish to have a little light or repellent, take a look down in the description where you can get this. I will be getting a special discount code once I get that. That'll help you save some money on this, just in case you're interested. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel if you wish. Every little bit helps. Otherwise, you can please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these products from Flex Trail to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.
Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. <laughs>